All right, shalom, shalom. This is Amma Wan from the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. Coming at you guys for another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akwafim, to anyone that's out there listening. Before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Father and the Son in their holy proper names. Kal Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Ha, Rakaf, Kodash, Mahamath. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of JMS. Citations to the Akim that's pushing this truth diligently around the four corners of the earth. And also double honors to my elders as well of the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. All right, the lesson I'm getting into, quick lesson, is pretty much um, like woe, woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help, you know. And our people uh, have this sense of pride that, um, that the army of the, of the United States, all right, is a strong army and that they can pretty much do whatever they want. They can pretty much destroy anybody they want to or um, that's the mindset of our people. They, you know, they, they have so much trust in the in the army, you know, uh, so much trust in Esau, you know, more more so trust in in the in the enemy than their own power, man. You know, the 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 powers that that led them out of Egypt, the the, the powers that led them out of Pharaoh's hand, man. You know, but our people uh, are are like a, a backsliding, you know. Uh, they, they 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 love to uh, forsake the Lord, man. You know. And I have a definition right here. It says, whoa. It says great sorrow or distress, man. Because a lot of our people uh, is definitely going to have this, this this great sorrow and distress, man, in a time of uh, trouble. You know, because, um, you know, for, for, for many, many times of our people forsaken in the, forsaken in the most high, you how about some y'all shot? All right. It's going to be misery, you know, and torment for these people, man. And you can see the definitions. Um, it says that, you know, they will have anguish, torment. Hardship, suffering, affliction, depression. All right. And um, in Isaiah 31 and 1, it says, Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. All right. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel neither seek the lord and our people are not seeking the lord and not they're not seeking him while he is found man you know and, and soon enough they're gonna they're gonna regret that they, 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 that they didn't seek the most high man because it's gonna be so much trouble you know they, they, they're not gonna be able to um you know grasp grasp what's really going on man you know it's, it's really gonna be that much sorrow and, and, and anguish going on man Hey man, uh, you how about some y'all shots? Is is, is letting, letting letting us know what's going on, man? Hey, the prophecies are here, man. Uh, you know these plagues are are are, are wonderful, man. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of things going on, man. Uh, I I I've seen a few things going on with the uh, Australia. Australia have um a huge plague of mice that's pretty much uh tearing tearing up their crops. You know, you know, tearing up the land, you know, killing people and all that because you know mice um, carry a lot of diseases as well, man. You know, so you know it's 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 troublesome, you know, for Australia right Australia right now. You know, and our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are scattered across the four corners of the earth, man. So you know, in all these places, man, our people are 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 gonna be feeling the heat, man, and the heat is kicking up through the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But what the scripture says is, woe unto them that go down to the, for Egypt for help. You know? Shalak. And, uh, man, um, our people don't get it, man. You know? They feel like because they're in a good case, man. You know, they feel like they're because they're they, they getting these stimulus checks. They feel like because they, you know, they have all these benefits from Esau, that Esau care about them, man. But in, in our reality, Esau doesn't care about you, man. You know? Esau. The, uh, the so-called Caucasian race, all right, they don't give a damn about you, man. Hey, and soon enough, you, you're gonna see, you're gonna see what, what all the prophets been speaking about for, for for many many years, man. Hey, man, um, let me get the next scripture real quick. All right, this is Proverbs chapter chapter eight, verse thirteen. It says, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, 
But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Come on, man. So who who so despises the word? Because if you if you if you despising the word, you despising your how about shimmy shot because they're the ones who created the word, man. Hey, you know. So you know, don't, don't like 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 they people like like um shlaki, like the saying goes, you know, you know, hate not the uh the messenger, you know, you know. But anyways, man, um, you know, it, being in this truth, man, it's, it's, it's many haters, man, it's many it's many uh scoffers, it's many scorners, man, you know. But it's it's all a joyful thing to see, man, because. It, it just it's just all more more proof into the pudding that you know, you know that that what you how about Shimia was trying to say what what's gonna happen is gonna happen, man. Um, but yeah, so back back at Proverbs eight and thirteen, it says, "Whoso despises the the word, shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the the commandment shall be rewarded, man." You know, you know, and and, and the commandment is to um. It's to love your how about some Yahweh Shah, you know, you know, to fear him, you know, and to and, and to keep the commandments, man, you know. So that's what we are to do is by loving your how about some Yahweh Shah, you know, wholeheartedly, you know. Amen. And, and, and another thing too, uh, our people, you know, they 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 um. They trust in this in this in this money, you know. They they trusting in these in these, in these uh, false riches, man. And what's gonna happen when the uh, when the economy collapses? What happen? What happen? What's gonna happen when it when this dollar collapses, man? You know. What's gonna happen when this inflation skyrockets up again? You know. It's, and it's gonna keep it's gonna keep on skyrocketing, man. Hey, man. The people gonna think that the, 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 the people thinking that this money is everything, but soon enough they're gonna they're gonna be drowning. And trying to pay for just one item, you know, with all that pretty, all that money, you know what I'm saying? All that money they have in their hand, man. This this money is nothing, man. You know, the real riches is is, is, is the word, man. It's the scriptures. It's it's it's, it's the knowledge, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of what Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah has said, man. Hey, Amen. That's the true riches, man. Uh, And this is Proverbs uh, 6 and 4. It says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death, man. Amen. Because we're going to definitely need, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the strength of, of, of Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shah, man, in a time of, of affliction, man. You know, you know, because, uh, you know, um, you know, Jacob's trouble is here, you know. And the scripture says, we're roughly paraphrasing, you know, it says that um, the Lord, Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know, here, here of the ones that, that, that that's in need, you know, in a time of affliction or a time of trouble, man. You know, he said he know how to deliver the, the righteous out of, out, of, uh, out of trouble, man. All right, so let me go to Psalms 20 and 7. Nah, verse six. It says, "It says now know I that the Lord save of His anointed, He will hear him from His holy heaven, with the saving, with the saving strength of His right hand." Come, man. And just like I was just saying, man. You know, this roughly paraphrasing. You know, the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, He hear our cries, man. You know, he, especially the ones that He care about. You know, that His anointed. You know. You know his, his uh, you know his servants. You know, verse seven says some some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will but we will remember the name of the Lord our our God, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, it says that what? It says some trust in chariots, just like the scripture says in Isaiah thirty one and one. It says war to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know that that trust in chariots, man. It says. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, all right. But we will remember the name of the Lord, our power, man. And that's a, that's a, that's a mighty scripture, man, because you know the, the, the name does matter. I U I C. You know, you know, you, you know. We have we, we we get salvation from 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 knowing our powers, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, the true the true Father and the Son. Names, man. 
it, it definitely does matter, man, because you call no God and call no Jesus, man, it's not gonna get you anything, man. You know, you're gonna call on on on, on those false names, man, and, and and get nothing, man. And that's gonna that's a, that's a scary thing to 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 uh to 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 have to have to have to or should like it to have to endure, you know, with, you know. Trying to call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but not being able to, 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 to have a a response or to for him for him to, to uh, for him to to help you, man, you know. Hey, man. Soon enough, these people are gonna really definitely see what's going on, man. You know, they're gonna see that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah sent his service out to to warn the people, man, to to to, to wait them up, to, to send them out to wake the people up, man. Sent out to to heal the people, man. You know, to give that water, to get the seed, man. You know, but the people, our people, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Native Americans, man, they're full of woes, man. You know, they're full of pride, man. They're full of, you know, thinking that they can, um, you know, live on their own, man. But the scripture says, man, the heart is deceitful of of, of all things, man. You know, you you need your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. They 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 they're, they're the creators, man. You know, you can't you cannot do nothing, you know, without them. This is um Psalms thirty three and twelve. It says, "Bless." It says, "Bless is the nation whose power is the Lord." It says, "Bless." <clears throat> It's the nation whose God is the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance, man. Amen. <clears throat> Let me skip down to verse 17. It says, And horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine, man. And we go, we going, we going into, we going into famine, man. <clears throat> we definitely going into uh, this plague of famine, man. You know these prophecies, man. Hey, Amen. It says, it says to deliver this, their soul from death, you know, and to keep them alive in famine. It says, our soul waited for the Lord; He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. And that's and that's, and that's, a, that's a major major key again because it's his holy name. It's set apart from all these other names, man. These the, 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 the names that we call on Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah, man. It's the true definition of, 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 of who our powers is, man. You know? Yahweh which mean which which means he exists. And Yahweh Shah, which means he he delivers, man, because he's a, a, a deliverer, man. He's coming to he's coming to deliver us from from captivity, to deliver us from these woes, to deliver us from destruction, man. You know, All right? So we have to trust in our powers, man. Trust in them. They they are they are the the shield and buckler, you know. This this word is 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 our comforter, man. You know, but our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are again under uh, are is under this Stockholm syndrome. You know, you know, having cares, having cares of this life. You know, having cares of, of the world, man. You know, not being holy, not being set apart from the from the wicked. But they, but they, but our people so caught up in and wanting to follow trends. You know, wanting to be wanting to be popular, wanting to be. The, the, the next biggest man, man, you know, it, it's all vanity, man. It's 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 much it's much more things that's that's popular, you know. These scriptures, man. These scriptures is gonna get us salvation, man. Being popular is not gonna get you anything but death, man. What being popular to, 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 to be the first person to get shot by a, mil a milsa, you know, or the first person to be popular enough to to to, to, to starve in, in famine. All right, hey man, the, the, the Lord is coming down with, with great wrath, man. You know, upon the upon the wicked, man. And it's and it's, and, it's, and, and, it's, and it's time is this time is at hand, man. The kingdom is at hand, and these things are gonna escalate, man. 
With that being said, I want to say, you know, Shalom. But woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe unto them that trust in Esau, man. All right. Woe unto them that trust in their own selves, man. All right. Because desolation is coming. 